origins of Hezbollah are traced back to events following World War I. After the breakup of the Ottoman Empire, Lebanon and Syria were given to France by the League of Nations. That's the organization that preceded the United Nations. In 1943, two years before World War II ended, Lebanon gained independence. A compromise was reached between the various religious affiliations called the National Pact. As a result, each religious sect was given their own political domain. So the president is always a Christian and the prime minister is always a Sunni. The Shiites were rewarded speakership of parliament, a position much weaker than the president or the prime minister. And Shiites were always an impoverished community. They continued being politically weak. So when the Zionist movement sought to establish Israel in 1948 and had their eyes set on Lebanese territory, Shiites from neighboring southern Lebanon were at the receiving end of the violence. This only intensified when Jordan Jordan expelled thousands of armed Palestinians in 1970, and they ended up moving to Lebanon, plaguing the Shiite population there. During the Lebanese Civil War of 1975, Shiites were mainly persuaded by secular and socialist ideology. They participated in the Civil War under the umbrella of the Lebanese National Front. But as Shiite calamities continued to climb in 1982 and Israel initiated a full-scale invasion, secular ideologies failed to provide meaningful solutions. Out of all this, a new attempt was made by the disillusioned Shia to start a new chapter of resistance. That culminated into Hezbollah, the party of God. 